We've already uh, finished up up there in the lot where the skid steer was. We're down here where I started cutting Saturday now. I took Dad in there and kind of showed him what the problem trees were and kind of what we're up against. So I'm going to jump on the skidder now. We got a few we're going to pull down and try to get them out before we try to pull these few that are leaning towards the fence. Uh, they got quite a bit of rain down here, so we're going to try to drag a couple out and see what it looks like. I don't think it'll be too bad on this hillside, but we sure don't want to tear any ground up on this cattle farm. But we're going to get in there and try to pull a few down. See what we can't get accomplished. Try to make some headway on this job anyway. Ugh. Several trees in there, pretty good trees. Get the light up, away we go. Running here along the, this hillside, it gets pretty steep in places. We've got a property line fence there, so we're trying it on alongside it. That's one of the trees there, it's a better one. We got a pole right there, another one right beside it. Oh, a couple more right here. Luckily, this old fence right here ain't no good. I just talked to the landowner. It's, it was down in places, and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad, because I didn't see it Saturday. And a top accidentally grazed the very, the very top of the tree when I fell and grazed the fence. But it was down in four or five places, so we were lucky. She said she was going to take it out anyway, so. But I don't like building the fence. One there, one in front of us. We're trying to get these logs that are further back, trying to get the furthest ones out first. trees that are hung up behind the skitter there we got it pulled down and cut off dad's got he's gonna cut two right there I didn't I cut one off the one he's cutting now because it was a double tree and I cut one of the pieces off of it the other day but the other one leaned back towards that fence along with another one up there so I didn't cut them but since that fence ain't no good and she don't care we're just gonna fall over that fence that old fence and um, drag the tops off she said she's gonna have it all dozed out anyway that whole fence line there she said she just can't ever keep it up I guess because all the trees are probably dropping limbs we'll walk down in here there was a couple more down in here there's one on the other side of that fence on the on the road over there I didn't cut it that's a pretty good tree there there it goes she fell all the way to the bottom Pretty good tree there. You can see that other one standing right in there. Looks like there's another one right in there. Yeah, that's a real good tree there. Got some height to it, a little bit of size. Good rotary log. Except I know there's small more on down this little draw here on each side of the fence. It's a good hickory there too. Kind of walk along here, see what we can see. This is my favorite time of year for cutting timber. This is my favorite time of the year, period. I like fall, I like the cooler weather, I like the changing of the seasons. Of course, I love Halloween. I don't, 
I'll put it this way, I like sitting around the house and watching old horror movies from the 80s and 70s. That's what I like about Halloween. That's not a good tree right there. Beautiful farm. Beautiful farm. Looks like that's all on this side. Here's some old stumps. There's several stumps in here from my did the oak harvest. See them old stumps all out through there. Seemed like there was a walnut along the edge of the field here, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's right there in front of us. Well, there's two of them. How about that? Oh, I better go up here and jump on the skitter, but I wanted to walk through there and do a little, little reconnaissance mission. Well, I stumped that thing, didn't they? She's been cut a long time. Long time, several stumps out there here. And it just goes to show you, look, because these, I guarantee they, they would have cut these chinka pin if they were big enough to harvest when they did. And it just goes to show you, I, I'm guessing probably 15 years since timber's been harvested, just my guess. And these chinka pin in here, and even the hickory, they've really, really grown. They've really come on strong. So that's just a good example right there of what a, what a good thinning will do for the, your timber stand and the health of it. This timber's clean. It really is a pretty clean timber. So that's that's good chink pen right there. That's barrel material. Barrel material. Climb up on the old 548D and get back to Dragon. <clears throat> it was a short video today. We didn't have time to do a lot of filming. At least I didn't. Uh, I mean, it was just... I don't know, typical stuff, I guess. Cut and drag logs. Tomorrow, we'll be sure to have the cameras rolling because uh, we got some good trees to cut tomorrow. The weather's starting to cool down here. We got a cold front moving in today. And I absolutely love beanie weather. I'm wearing a longer threads beanie, by the way. But yeah, I, I love beanie weather, so anytime it starts to get cold, I'm, I'm in a beanie. Of course, my ears get cold really easy. When my ears get cold, I'm absolutely miserable. I, I think I could work in a sleeveless shirt and shorts and flip-flops, but I would have to have a beanie. Like my, my ears do get cold really easy. But I've got a... We called it kind of a day kind of early. It's I just dropped Dad off. It's a little after 2 o'clock. But I've got to take my bloodhound to the vet, Trixie. She's not been feeling too good over the weekend, so I'm going to take Trixie into the vet. So I kind of wanted to leave work a little earlier today so I can get that taken care of. So thanks for following along on this uneventful, unexciting day. I mean, it was a good day. We we drug, I, mean, I don't know, 30-some trees out. You know, everything I cut Saturday, then we cut some more, and we got them drug out. So I mean, it a good I mean it, it was a productive day it was you know a few thousand feet of logs out so that's not bad for a little better than half a day I don't think so but I'm gonna go get my dog get her to the vet get her to feeling better so guys thanks a lot for following along be sure to like comment and subscribe it's one fourth down the road check us out on all of our social media outlets YouTube Facebook Instagram and all those awesome places. Guys, thank you so much, and we will see you tomorrow.